In iOS 11, you can also immediately mark up a screenshot. Now before, you could still mark up. In iOS 10, they added mark up to the Photos app, but you had to go into the Photos app to find your screenshot. Now, if you take a screenshot, you can mark that up immediately and then save it to Photos. So let's say that my students are doing exploration and research and they're on a website and they want to capture the information and then do some annotations to that. So if they do a traditional screenshot, you'll see that it shows up in the lower left and if you tap on the screenshot it will immediately open up your markup options. Now if you don't tap on the screenshot immediately it still saves it but it will be in your photos. So if I want to mark this up I can use all of the tools available to mark up an image. So I may want to choose the marker and I may want to choose the green color to point out something on the image. I also have the opportunity in the lower right hand side to add text, a signature, a magnifier, or several shapes. So think of this in terms of Sketch. Before, in Sketch you could do things that maybe the iPad inherently couldn't do. Well now with iOS 11, if I do a screenshot of something, I have all of these features here built in. I don't have to open another app. I don't have to make sure my students have that app downloaded. It is built into what they are doing. So I may want to add a box shape to my screen to highlight a piece by adding this box. Once I am done, I have two options. I can either use my share in the upper right or I can choose done. Now if I choose done, I need to save to photos if I want to keep this. If not, I can delete the screenshot. So I'll save it to photos and then it takes me back to the application that I was in. So you can immediately mark up a screenshot just by doing screenshot and then choosing that. Another thing that's great is the Safari PDF creation and markup. So let's say that I'm on a website that has information that my students are researching. So for instance, I'm going to go to the academics page within WCPSMD, and let's say that I want to look at the information in regards to curriculum. So if my students are doing their research and they find a website and they think this is great information, I want to use it, there's a very quick and efficient way to share this to a PDF so that it can be saved in Google Drive, shared in Google Classroom, or any other location that they would want. From here, what I would do is choose my arrow, my sharing arrow in the upper right, and when I look across my options, you'll see Create PDF comes up on the right. Now a little quick tip, if you want to use Create PDF often, and this is for any app that has the sharing option, you can actually rearrange the order of the sharing. So if I choose Create PDF, you'll see that it expands. I can move this all the way over so that the next time I open the sharing option within Safari, Create PDF will come up first. So I'm going to choose Create PDF right out of Safari, and you'll see that I right now have a PDF ready to be saved and shared or even marked up. So I'm going to mark this up before I share it or save it. You'll see that I have the exact same options for markup for a PDF as I did for the image. So maybe I want to drop that box in around a piece of text on this before I create the PDF. I may also want to jump to my highlighter choose yellow and highlight a section so that I know to go back to this whenever I'm ready. At this point, whenever I am prepared and I want to share this PDF with the markup, I can go to my share option and I can move it to a place that I would prefer. I can also choose done and you'll see that I can save the file too. When I do that, it will ask me where would you like to save this file? Google Drive? on my iPad or iCloud Drive. Now this will bring up the Files app, which we will be exploring in detail in another video. So I could choose Drive and then it would save it immediately into Google Drive. And again, those steps were I went to Safari, I found a web page with great information, I chose to make it a PDF, I did my markup, and I saved it to Google Drive immediately without using any other applications. So whenever you are looking at uh, student research in relation to Safari, this is a great tool for you to be able to use. Another way you could do this is on any page in Safari you can look at Reader View and that will remove all multimedia. iOS and uh, the Mac have had this for a while, but if you choose the lines to the left 
you'll see it isolates the text and from this I can also create a PDF. So although Safari may not work for all of your needs when it comes to an Internet Explorer or a browser that you are using, you know, Chrome may have the benefits, but Safari has some built-in features in iOS 11 that currently Chrome does not have. So you may want to direct students to use Safari in their research, especially if they're looking at websites and they're looking for that key information. And then again, the same procedure would happen if you have it isolated by text or if you have the entire site.